On the Nate 7, it is Harms. We're here with uh, members of the band who are, are on the Verge Artists right now. It is Kellen and Nick from Sleeping With Sirens. Fellas. Hello, hello. What's up? Thank you for being here. Uh, it's an exciting time for the band, I would think, right now. Uh, how are you guys feeling? You guys feeling nervous? Are you feeling stoked? Is it a little combination of the two? I feel good, man. Yeah. I feel really good. I actually don't feel nervous. No, I'm excited. I do, but... I feel like... Uh, this is what we do like performing is what we do well and i'm excited to just get out there and start playing these songs you know the record's done the hard part's done now it's just playing the music so this is not a new thing for you guys clearly this is album number five uh and i feel like a theme of this album you've said so far is growing up and uh growing up but kind of keeping that feeling of youth in inside of you and i didn't know if you could expand kind of more on, on that or maybe specifically how you feel you've grown up even in the last couple of years yeah, I mean, I feel like as soon as I turned 31, I kind of hit this wall and had this kind of epiphany of, uh, all right, I'm not 18 anymore and I can't keep pretending to be that. Um, I really wanted us to make a record that felt our age, you know, um, and could be something that our fans could grow up with. And um, so that was our goal, is to make a record that was kind of like that. Is that sonically? Is that lyrically? Is that both? Both, yeah, yeah. I'd say both. Lyrically, um, how do you think things ha have grown for you? What kind of stories are you telling? Because you're right, man. Things change uh, w when, you, uh, when, you, when you cross that 30 threshold in ways that you expect and ways that you don't expect. Uh, again, how much of that makes its way into the lyrics? I think it's just um, mainly just kind of trying to figure out like what is the purpose you know what is my purpose and um just trying to expand my mind in a way when it comes to making music and just living my life in general mm -hmm. i think when you're younger you just kind of go with emotions and you take everything as it comes but as you get older you start to become a little bit wiser and yeah. i think that's kind of where i'm trying to be <laughs> yeah yeah it doesn't get easier uh, in right. fact it, trying it, to be in a lot of ways it becomes more complicated uh for sure Legends is a, a song that has been chosen as the Olympic theme song, as uh, you guys have talked quite a bit about. Uh, is that weird for a band like yours? Is that I mean, it's, obviously it's cool. It's a cool thing. Uh, but uh, when you uh, knowing that that's coming and knowing that there's going to be all of these images of athletes going down hills in Korea, <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love <laughs> yeah, the gestures. Yeah, yeah. Is that I mean, I, I guess I, how, how does that make you feel? You guys stoked on it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely honor, really. stoked. Um, How'd you find out that that was going to happen? Uh, well, it's it's pretty much the Maddens doing. Yeah. You know, I think that they're very good at at walking into a room and and finding these situations that just kind of happen. I know they have really great relationships with people, uh -huh. um, so that's just that's just part of being with those guys. And um, you know, they let us know, and it's so exciting to hear. There are people that are, are, are that that hear that and they think Madden's is like a video game. They don't know your association <laughs> oh, yeah. with with so Joel and Benji. Benji so. and Joel from Good Charlotte. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you guys how do you guys know each other? And you guys work very closely together. Um, I did a song with them on their their latest album they just put out, and that's kind of how the relationship started. Uh -huh. um, Joel worked with me on our last album, Madness, and we just became really good friends. Yeah. And I just love the way that they do business. You know, I feel like the way they manage their artists is they 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 treat you as an artist first. Yeah. And, and, and they definitely, um, they just make you feel really positive about what you're doing. They really love music, and yeah. so that, that definitely shows. They're good dudes. They're smart dudes. Yeah. And, and absolutely, uh, I'm sure for you guys, nice guys to be working with. Uh, you guys going to be able to get a trip to, to South Korea out of the whole uh, Olympic thing, you think? I mean, I'd be down. Of course uh, you'd be <laughs> down, for sure. Is it going to happen? Um, I don't know. I think it's still it's still uh, many months away, so that kind of planning is uh, something that we don't know yet about. But um, I think we're definitely going to be involved in some uh, s some things with the Olympics, some, uh, some ceremony things, some special events, so... Uh, we'll see what transpires. Did you just confirm you're playing the opening ceremonies? Is that what? No, just no, no, not at no, all. I mean, that, sh I mean, I'm, we're down. <laughs> yeah, of course so you're if down. If they're listening right now, Sleeping with Science is definitely down. Let's do it. Uh, for sure. Um, who in the band is into fantasy football? Are you? Yeah, I just got into it last year. <laughs> Did I see a thing that you're doing with like with ESPN? You yeah. guys are doing like a league. Is that for real? Yeah, it's it's very for real. When you uh, draft. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it? I, I got to find way. out. Yeah. <laughs> There's already games going on. I, yeah. I don't want to be late to the game. Yeah, no kidding. Absolutely. How did that get uh, hooked up? Is that something that you guys have been very kind of public and vocal about, or is it just kind of one of those things that worked its way in there? It was just kind of an opportunity that presented itself. I, I did a league with 
the Maddens and my stepdad and, and my stepson last year and like some other bands and stuff were involved and they were just like, hey, do you want to do something again this year? I'm like, absolutely. Because yeah. it, it gets you more engaged with watching football. You know, it's not just about your one team. It's about all the players. And so I definitely find myself watching a lot more. It stresses me out. So I <laughs> yeah, did this. Me too. So I did fantasy football maybe like five years ago. Uh-huh. And my story with it is that I did the draft and then I was on tour at the time. Yeah. And I completely just left it. And it's okay. That's, see, and yeah, so that guy I ended league. up pissing off everybody <laughs> yeah. in our league because my team was killing it. Oh, no. but, I, but I was not playing any role, no trades, no nothing. And people were just losing their minds on me, like legitimately like wanted to like fight me. They were so mad. So I said, okay. I'm going to take a step back from fantasy football, but I'll probably get involved again this year. See, that's funny. That puts a dent into all those nerds who think there's a ton of strategy involved. Yeah. If you just like put your team out there. Oh, yeah. That's funny, dude. They hated me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're going on tour with Rise Against this fall. Um, yep. Have you played with those guys before? Do you know those guys? Never. No? No. Um, what do you expect? Those guys are... They seem like kind of intense dudes. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea what to expect. I'm excited to watch them every night, though. You know, it's it's cool to, like, go on tour with a band that's been doing it for so long and to be able to kind of watch their live experience and stuff. It's it's good to see that yeah. for, for our own band, you know? So. Well, that's cool to hear you say. Again, you being a band that has been doing it for so long, and there's certainly no, you know, spring chickens as far as uh, experience is concerned. You know, you guys have put out bunch of records you guys have gone on these tours and the fact that you're still open to learning uh, especially from a band like rise against is cool but it's got to be a, a flip side to that as well have you seen any bands kind of coming up that have looked at what you have done or influence where you have where you have influenced uh specific people where you've been like wow it's cool to see them doing that because we feel like we did that as well yeah i think music shouldn't be a competition at all i feel like it's something that everyone should be a part of and it's, it's it's supposed to be this huge positive thing so anytime we get to see artists you know maybe emulating some of the things that we do it's it's more of just like a pat on the back for us you know like yeah it's not I'm, like a bad thing it's not like why are they doing that it's like man that's awesome because i feel like everyone should give in that way yeah and i mean it less as a competition more as a sense of community yeah. as 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 kind of maybe helping people along um i'm sure as you guys were coming up there were bands that helped you along uh are there any bands that you've had your eye on that you would like to help along or is that something that you would do at, at, at some point i think that's something that we've already consciously been doing f- for the uh, last few years i think with how we tour and the musicians and bands that we want to play with, we want it to be eclectic. Like Mm -hmm. it's always enjoyable for us to go on tour with bands that don't necessarily sound like us, Yeah, you know, that have their own sound. And I think that's important for our fan base. It's also, it's important for just for people coming to shows in general, like to be exposed to different genres and different, uh, types of culture and whatever it is. So I think, um, you know, going back to Rise Against, you know, I grew up a punk rock kid, so I I love Rise Against. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool to see a band like that, you know, taking a band like us out, you know, and, and, you know, we, we relate to that on a big level just because, you know, that's something that we do as well is keep it, keep it, keep it different. You know, for us, I feel like it gets a little monotonous and boring if we brought out four bands that sounded just like us yeah it's more fun to expose different genres yeah that's cool and i was joking uh about them being intense guys they are intense guys they're also very (laughs) sweet very nice heard nothing but great things. incredibly intelligent guys and i think again you guys uh i'm sure can learn a lot and, and have a good time uh for sure congratulations on gossip uh thank you again you guys have to be super super excited about it anything um anything we should know about the record that I have not asked about anything that uh, as you are having these conversations, you're like, man, I wish that dude would ask about this because this is a super cool part of this album. I'd say like the coolest part about the record is just kind of how it was made. It was very different for us as a band. I did a lot of writing on my own and then we did a lot of writing together. Um, it was kind of like an uncomfortable, comfortable situation working with somebody like David Bendith. It's very intense in the studio. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it kind of made us think and feel a lot of emotions, and you can definitely get that when you listen to the record. Yeah. Um, I'd say the biggest thing about the album is is just how different each song is from the next. That's that's the biggest thing for me. Like Everyone's yeah. like, hey, this song doesn't sound like this song out of the songs we released, and that's the perfect. reason is, is because the whole album doesn't sound the same. So The recording process is one that I, I don't think I've heard of people 
doing, at least not for a while, and that everybody was separate, where uh, each of you guys were kind of cranking it out eight hours at a time in your own different separate rooms. What kind of vibe did that create? That's got to be, again, interesting and different. Yeah, I think that, you know, when you're together in a room, you can you can feed or you can give like the um, you can give somebody else more responsibility or whatever, like somebody else will take the responsibility. So when you separate each other into a different room, it's really all about what you can do. Yeah. And I think that's something that was proven to us. Like we we've we've learned that there was more that we needed to learn as artists and, mm -hmm. and everybody's grown a lot since yeah. the recording process. Uh, it's lonely. Yeah, I, 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 really I believe it, man. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. remember giving I remember giving Jack, our lead guitar player, like a hug and just being like, "Well, I'll see you at ten o'clock." You know, getting there at two, and that's what it was. You know, it was just like you on a mission to get what you needed to get done. Yeah, there's got to be positives and negatives. Uh, positives in that this is my time to shine. This is my time to go and and kind of do what I can do. But on the other hand, yeah, you're in there by yourself. Like that's you, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and it's time to uh, time to do your part. I think that was the beauty of David Bendit, and that's why he wanted us separate, because he, he wanted to to pull our strengths individually and go, you're really good at this, you mm -hmm. know? And there'd be parts where I'd be tracking, and i go, well, what would what's Kellen going to do on this part, or what's Jack going to play over this? And Bendit would just say, well, what what do you want to do on this part? Like, yeah. what is it that you, that you have in your head? And just go with that. So I think that's the beauty of the album is that, there's so many of there's so many personalities and characteristics that played such a huge role in each song. You know, it's been interesting talking about uh, or talking to bands over the course of the last year because so much has been happening in the world. And I'm talking about uh, in the art world. I'm talking about uh, in the political world, just in the country. It's, it's just it's just a it's a volatile time and it's a strange time. Any of those feelings and you don't have to specify what those feelings are at all. Those are those, um, if you don't want to, but any of those feelings or any of that kind of uh, uh, sentiment work its way into these songs on this record. Yeah. I mean, there's a song called war. It's like the last track on the album and it's very political. Um, I wrote the song when Donald Trump was getting elected as mm -hmm. president. And I feel like a lot of the stuff that was written in that song is very um, important to what's going on in the world right now. You know, I think that, all of us in our band have our own opinions on everything, but we, you know, the one thing that we do agree on is that the world we live in right now is a very, very sensitive one. And yeah. I think that it's important to use, you know, the stage and the opportunity we have to express positivity, you know, since everything's kind of so negative, it's important for us to tell our fans, you know, that you are accepted and you're safe here, like mm -hmm. when you come to our shows. And, um, yeah, we're very accepting, and, and I, that's something I really pride our band on. So. That's cool, man. And I feel like that has been uh, the stuff that stood out since the election. Um, I feel like people anticipated that, like a bunch of Rage Against the Machine clone bands to come out after the election. That's not what happened. What's risen to the top is that positive message and that message of uh, unification and, and bands that have done that and songs that have come out that way have really have been the cream that has risen to the top. And uh, it's cool to hear that this band and this record and, and this, uh, you know, segment of, of your career is certainly uh, along those lines in response to that. Uh, we're stoked, dude. We're stoked for gossip. We're stoked for the Olympics. We're stoked. We're stoked. We're, We're stoked, stoked about Game of Thrones last night. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, for real. Um, and uh, we're excited to see you guys out with Rise Against this fall. Thanks for being here. Hey, we Thanks appreciate for having it. us. Sure. Thank you. It's Nick and Kellen from Sleeping with Siren.